So personally, I took a lot of like art modules. So normally, I do well for those modules. As opposed to my school electives, like I do not as well. Mm. Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of The Guide to Tertiary Life with Charlie and Ron. We are SG Schroeder and Mental Health CEO, respectively. Mm. Today, we'll be focusing more on the academic, academic aspect. Yeah. yeah. Because after all, you yeah. go to school to study, la, you yes, know, to yeah. get grades and get a cert. You, yeah. you have to have a well-rounded life. La. So, uh, as usual, we need to preface this by saying that we are not professionals. We are simply like stating our opinions that are true to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And we are not affiliated with any other organisation. Uh, how to get great, better grades? A very good resource is actually to talk to your seniors for tips and tricks on how to score for each module. And your profs. Exactly, exactly. Because so, they are grading. Yeah, so approach them after class, ask questions, don't be afraid, like don't be shy. I'm sure that they'll be very happy to share with you what they know. Yeah, do your own research. Like, is the mod very individual assignment based or like group? How involved do you have to be in class participation? If you're an introvert, maybe a module with like heavy class participation won't be ideal for you. Mm -hmm. You want to understand your assignments. You want to kind of get a rough sense of what the percentages are, the weightage for each assignment, so that you can mentally prepare for it. For individual components for the test, you're going to summarize complex topics into easy to understand acronyms or other ways of memorization for your essays or reports uh, remember your foundations in your writing remember PEL and also try and understand what the lecturer actually wants yeah. what gets them excited if possible you can go and look at your school's database of like past year's papers just do your own research to see like what potential questions might come out like. usually they make a bit of variation but the, yeah. fun- the, the structure main, is there yeah. So another thing is that as you're writing your reports, maybe you have this tendition to just like copy wholesale and then like just insert it inside. But that's actually wrong. It's unethical. It's It's plagiarism. Plagiarism. Yeah, they have like programs that can detect plagiarism by the way. So if you want to use sources, credit them. I think one thing that's really important to consider is that in secondary school or JC, right, usually the the grading right is based on either L1, R5 or the the rank point system, right? So in tertiary institutions like poly or IT or universities, usually based on a GPA kind of system and GPA stands for Great point average. Great point average. Usually it's out of four or five. So the closer you are to like a four or five, the better you are. Different mods that you take in school have different weightages. For example, you can do very well in a mod that has a higher weightage but you do very badly in a mod that has a lower weightage. Mm. Overall, your, your results will still be okay because it's average now. So usually higher level modules tend to be more specific, they tend to be a bit more complex. More depth and less breadth. For most tertiary institutions, they have this option called the satisfactory, mm. unsatisfactory, also known as SU, SU. option or pass-fail option. You have a certain amount of modules yeah. where as long as you pass, it's actually not added to your GPA calculation. A lot of people take it and use it for courses which they just want to explore. Then they realize, oh, actually, I'm not that great at it. So I'll just SU it so that it doesn't affect my GPA. Me and Ron have like very different like, mindset. Mm. So personally, I'm a very like arts and craft person. So Have you in- seen her, no, her no, no. arts and crafts or not? No, no. Let's show it on screen right now. No. <laughs> Is that gangster? Yeah, what? Sha, sha, eh, sha, quack. Yeah. Thank like, you, Ron. It's really, really all her pins are that, that damn good. So, personally, I took a lot of like art modules like printmaking, mm. silk screen printing, watercolor, drawing. So, n- normally I do well for those mods. Yeah. I get, I always get like at least A minus. As opposed to my school electives, like I do not as well for that. Hmm. They also have like language courses, German or like, or like Korean. Korean. Like for me, right, I tend to take more modules which pertain to my life goals. So for me, like, I want to become an entrepreneur, a mental professional or become like a writer. I took modules from the Nanyang Technopreneurship Center, like the social media marketing courses. I took like writing courses and I also took basic counseling skills. So all of those things actually helped me to uh, advance down those life paths. So another thing which actually I did la, was that I actually went on learning excursions to different parts of the world. They were mostly paid for by the school. Go for all these like overseas opportunities if you can because it's very enriching. Some friends I know they go for like overseas internship mm. or like exchange program. Like So for us, uh, we actually went to the University of Texas in Austin. Yeehaw! <laughs> Thank you for watching episode 2 of A Guide to Tertiary Life with Charlene and Ron and this part of the Canvas series by Vitsi. The next episode will focus more about working with groups. See ya there.